वेलकम टू यू जी सीनेट ऑनलाइन प्री कोचिंग टुडे आई डिस्कस क्वेश्चन नंबर डिसम्बर टू थाउजेंड सिक्स पार्ट वन ऑलरेडी आई हैव कंप्लीटेड जून टू थाउजेंड सिक्स टुडे आई स्टार्ट न्यू सीरीज डिसम्बर टू थाउजेंड सिक्स इन दिस फर्स्ट विल सी फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन ऑफ डिसम्बर टू थाउजेंड सिक्स हुई ऑफ द रेगुलर एक्सप्रेशन करेस्पॉन्ड्स टू दिस ग्रामर मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम आई टोल्ड यू फाइनेट ऑटोमेटा इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सब्जेक्ट मो डेफिनेटली विल गेट एट टू टेन क्वेश्चन प्लीज गो थ्रू फर्स्ट यू शुड कवर फाइनेट ऑटोमेटा विथ कंपायलर डिजाइन ओके लुक एट दिस क्वेश्चन दे हैव गिवन टू प्रोडक्शन थ्री प्रोडक्शंस yes ab and as a is a production one more production a r a a b is one more production tends to b they have given three production is it generates expression a a a star b plus or a a star b or ab whole star a ab whole star to know this one we need to Uh, just substitute. Uh, just is it is like a recursive function. Just initially you go for um, where uh, this is a yes a b and a s is the starting regular language it generates. Now go on will substitute a, a in this expression. Capital letters indicates non terminals and small letters indicates terminals. okay who are don't know the finite automata please go through it these are basic things now uh, in these two first uh, look at all three productions these are three productions are given now we'll start for starting symbol s of ab you may start s of ab or s of as uh, it's both you may start uh, which one but most of the time you may get um, in both you may start with any of the production you will get the answer uh, that type of uh, uh, grammar is called ambiguity grammar we'll discuss later on first start with the starting symbol s of ab now what is your a a is a r a a in this first letter a you may substitute this a r a of a i think i have written reverse sorry for this a of a this one so i will substitute this a is a of a okay a of a and b what is your a again you may substitute a of a means what again you may substitute a of a or else you may stop anywhere a of a it is stopped but how many times it a generates we don't know because it may be a star indicates a star means what um closer star closer star closer it may generates one character or it may um, sorry null character or, or it may be infinite character so this a a a this capital a may generate n number of a's and what is your b b is only one symbol that is terminal symbol it will not generate any letter next so b is the stop but a how many a's it may be n number of a's that's why you may write a Uh, this is first a and a of a this a is generates n number of times that's why it is a raised to star so your production is a a raised to star b so check it and this is a a raised to star b plus plus a, a, there is no plus here so definitely it is strike out and uh, this is a a a star b this is the answer here a b whole star just looking at the question if you know good in uh, regular expression and context free grammar uh, you can strike out this option also because b is only one time but it is a b raised to star means what it will not generate n number of times so you may strike out directly they ha- here plus directly you may strike out here also a b whole star this is also wrong option without looking the production without performing the operation you can answer easily option is b okay i hope uh, it's clear 
now we'll go for the proposition negation of q or p is equivalent to in origin actually i am solving all the questions uh, for original question papers of ugc net in this original question paper they have not mentioned any options i think so they uh, in Ju uh, december 2000 uh, december 2006 it is uh, misprinted i think two questions same so i will not discuss anything about this i will not assume maybe the these these are the options i will not do anything so left it it is undefined okay because we don't know uh, i think printing mistake next one more the number of edges in the complete graph with n vertices is equivalent to this is already i have explained if the graph is complete what is complete graph all the uh, edges should have in uni unique one edge from every other vertices so a complete graph with a simple undirected graph in which every pair of distinct vertices is connected by a unique edge means what this vertex is should connect with the all other vertices unique edge this is a complete graph so how many um, edges if it is complete graph definitely it is n into n into n minus 1 by 2 i think this graph we will use in mesh topology okay uh, so i hope uh, complete graph means what a complete graph is a simple undirected graph in which every pair of distinct vertices is connected by unique edge means what one vertex is connected with the all other vertices so uh, this one asked just uh, june 2006 question number two next we will go for which of the following is not true again printing mistake um, they have not given option a c d so without uh, knowing it's uh, difficult to answer so definitely it is undefined i will not uh, discuss anything about this next we will move for question number five if a square minus b square is a prime number where a and b belongs to n then what is your object option a square minus b square is equal to 3 or a square minus b square is equal to a minus b a square minus b square is equal to a plus b or a square minus b square is equal to 5 let us zoom and take some options consider a is equal to 2 b is equal to 1 so a plus b is equal to 3 so a square minus b square means 2 square minus 1 square is 4 minus 1 is 3 so a square minus b square is equal to 3 look at one more a is equal to 3 b is equal to 2 so a plus b is equal to 5 a square minus means 3 square is 9 2 square is 4 9 minus uh, uh, 4 is 5 so again you will get a a square minus b square is equal to a plus b so option is c is right answer next look at the hexadecimal equivalent of 10111 means binary they have given we need to find of hexadecimal of these two numbers just you take multiple sub 2 uh, to solve this one you know how to convert uh, binary to hexadecimal but uh, uh, you do it in a easy way you take uh, uh, just powers of 2 2 raised to 0 2 raised to 1 2 raised to 2 2 raised to 3 2 raised to 4 means what 1 into 2 raised to 4 0 into 2 raised to 3 just write this one you will get answer is 23 means 2 raised to 4 is 16 2 raised to 3 is uh, 0 into leave it uh, 2 raised to 2 is 4 16 plus 4 is 20 20 plus 2 is 22 plus 1 so 23 um, and uh, this one is 2 raised to 1 uh, 2 raised to 0 is eliminate 2 raised to 1 2 raised to 2 2 raised to 3 2 raised to 3 is 8 2 raised to 1 is uh, um, 2 8 plus 2 is uh, 10 plus 11 sorry 14 so you will get uh, 8 plus 4 plus 2 is you will get a uh, 14 so 23 now you multiply these two you will get 322 this is the decimal number but you need to convert this one in a hexadecimal number so 322 divided by 16 is 20 16 1 just 60 remainder is 2 so 142 of the given binary number is equivalent hexadecimal number is 142 option is c 
i hope it's very clear uh, if you know uh, without doing these options you can directly answer because this is just multiples 2 raised to 2 raised to 0 2 raised to 1 2 raised to 2 2 raised to 3 2 raised to 4 2 raised to 4 is 16 2 raised to 3 is eliminates you take it directly this is 2 raised to 0 2 raised to 1 2 raised to 2 2 raised to 3 2 raised to 3 is 8 2 raised to 2 is 4 8 plus 4 is 12 2 raised to 1 is 2 so 14 you you, you, you eliminate these intermediate uh, steps if you are compatible no problem um, means what uh, if you have enough time don't worry about it but don't do it any mistakes okay next we'll go for an example of self complementing code is 8421 code or gray code or xs3 code or 7421 code self complementary code it is a property it is a direct answer that is xs3 code xs3 code is known as self comp complementary code because it can easily be complemented up to nine complement to perform addition in the case of subtraction means what you can perform nine up to nine complement once complete uh, you'll get uh, all the values of once complement so or self complement code is also known as self complementing code or reflective code as once complement of any number is available within 10 numbers that's why it is a self complementary code i hope it's clear it's a, a direct property uh, so option is c is right answer next we'll go for a sum of products expression can be implemented with dash logic code sum of product product of sum uh, you know uh, using and of or or and of or and of not or or of and sum of products that is first multiply then add that's why sum of product sum it will comes in between product is operators in between so operands so sum of product first multiply then add so sum of product is and of r product of sum is r of and so be careful so sum of product is and of r option is a is right answer now look at the characteristic equation of a deep flip flops already i have explained in december 2004 question number 10 it may ask any uh, actually in the in uh, uh, 2004 they asked jk flip flop characteristic of jk flip flops but here they asked characteristic of deep flip flops so it may ask any character it may be a sharp flip flop in the future but you should know the all the characteristics of um, all flip flops because anytime any it may changes only change the name of the flip flop that's why you should know uh, like these questions you once you get this type of questions you just list out uh, related to all uh, characteristics sometime if they ask a formula you should uh, list out all the formula because uh, next time it may be changed the name uh, different uh, it may ask different formulas so you just go through it T flip flop characteristic of T flip flop this one and characteristic of SR flip flop uh, this is characteristic of JK flip flop and characteristic of D flip flops okay you should list out all the characteristics it may ask any question you can answer it okay now you can answer easily the characteristic equation of a D flip flop is D this is so option is B this is characteristic Q equal to D I hope it's easy uh, what I'm trying to explain you just list out all the formulas all important properties and characteristics just list out uh, all subjects like this only next we'll go for which of the following logic is the fastest just look at in uh, two years this is asked third times repeated question this one is a fixed question almost it will ask one question for characteristics so please um, please you look at this question it's very 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 important uh, just look at uh, June 2005 is asked June 2006 again now it is December 2006 again same question so um, it's very important questions already I have listed for this one in I have explained in detail in uh, June 2005 all the properties of uh, logic kits so just uh, you go through it all the properties P um, means you should perfect these gates you'll get one question definitely so at least you, you you should know which questions are very important which questions are come yeah, frequently they will ask on the which 
topic which concept they will ask same question frequently so you should perfect you should thorough in that concept so that's very important so which of the following logic test is fastest small it is characteristic every time it will changes it may be fastest it may be maximum fan out it may be power um, power distribution uh, it it may ask any type of characteristic based on the uh, logic but you should know the all the uh, these list of logic gates and uh, just go th you should know the uh, what is the uh, property of stl what is the property of ecl most important properties and, and just remember these all points i hope uh, um, it's clear uh, you enjoyed uh, this le uh, lecture series uh, thanks for watching please subscribe and share the channel uh, please inform your friends thank you